Her first work experience was picking potatoes in a Texas field. But Ethel Lee had ended up at the forefront of the U.S. space program, helping build shuttles for NASA. In recognition of Women's History Month, Fox 11's Chelsea Edwards introduces us to the 98-year-old trailblazer. This is a picture of my grandmother uh, at work, and uh, that's part of the uh, space shuttle team, and you can see she's the only African-American woman there. In fact, 98-year-old Ethel Lee was the first African-American woman to help physically build the first six space shuttles contracted for NASA. Well, I was. I was the only one. Ethel, do you know that you made history? No. <laughs> but you did. <laughs> Her groundbreaking 30-plus year career with the Orbiter's manufacturer was an unlikely dream for Ethel, who was born in Hooks, Texas in 1926. My grandmother would have to come out of school and go pick potatoes. And she was determined not to be a potato picker yeah, upper. I always wanted to be educated. And you studied hard. Hard. I did. At 16, she graduated at the top of her class, eventually started a family, and moved to California, where she opened a restaurant. But her entire life changed course on May 25, 1961, when President John F. Kennedy announced that the U.S. was going to space. Now it is time to take longer strides. Time for a great new American enterprise. She heard President Kennedy, President Kennedy. said he wanted to go to space. Mm -hmm. And she said, I want to go over there. I want to go work there. Against all odds and with no background in engineering, Ethel applied and won a job for Rockwell International here in Southern California, where the shuttles were built. Were you nervous going into this, this field that you didn't know anything about? No. She worked with a lot of men, and it was tough a lot of times. But my grandmother's a very tough cookie. So she went right in there with him. Ethel spent 32 years in Rockwell's mock-up engineering department, the only African-American woman on that team. From the space shuttle to the B-1 bomber, um, she's done some amazing things. The crew of Columbia is pleased to present you with this an appreciation of your contribution to the successes of the first manned orbital flight of the space shuttle. And that's her when she retired. Just very well loved. Since retirement, Ethel has poured herself into her other passions, growing her favorite veggies. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, these collard greens came from uh, my grandmother, Miss Lee's garden. And cooking. Well, my grandmother was very famous for um, cooking ribs. I'm not as good as she is, but I'm close. Yeah. That's you. That's me. Yeah. She hopes by sharing her story, she'll inspire someone else to reach for the stars, even if it seems impossible. When God has a calling on your life, and that's the way we were raised, he opens the door. She did it when it was hard. It's a lot easier and more accepting because they're looking for us now. Ethel has learned a lot in her 98 years on Earth, but her advice for the next generation is simple. Believe in yourself and trust in God and work hard. Reporting for Fox 11 News, I'm Chelsea Edwards. What a great ending shot there. I love her smile. Well, what a story. I love her energy yes. and a lot we all can learn from her. Great.